All right, guys, we are recording. So, hey, Warriors, what's up? <laughs> Got on my Rank Makers hat. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. So, happy Wine Wednesday. Who's got their wine? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, welcome to our team call. It is November 29th, I think, already. Um, this call is probably, it's not going to be too long tonight, I don't think, just, but it's very important. I think um, the subject that we're doing. So just by a show of hands. Um, and if you're watching live, just drop a one below. Um, if you do you guys feel stuck, like by a show of hands, just just raise your hand if you feel stuck. If you just feel stuck in your own head. Do we need to fix that? <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing quite a few of you saying yes. So it could be that you're procrastinating, maybe you're um deliberating or gathering info and just not getting started you're just stuck oh mandy i see you now <laughs> yes i see you <laughs> okay so those of you waiting for the right timing do you even know what the right timing is do you know what the right timing is because chances are like you don't know what the right timing is and so you're never going to get started if you don't if you're trying to think of trying to wait for the right time and you're never going to get started because it's never going to be the right time. So we got to get past that. So I mean, your real issue when you're thinking about um, like timing and getting started and stuff like that, your real deep down issue is probably that um, you're just scared to make a mistake. Um, and you know, that's normal. That's normal human nature. But, and, and, but that really just equals you're stuck in your comfort zone. Literally, like that's what it is. You fear of making mistakes, you're stuck in your comfort zone. And the fear of making mistakes, uh, the fear of making mistakes that might make you uncomfortable. So even I'm guilty of this, you guys. Like, and I've even told this story, if you guys are in Rank Makers, um, even two months ago, like I've built a huge team. And <laughs> even I can get in my own head sometimes. Even the, the biggest leaders can get in their own heads and, you know, just, all of a sudden just stop and like we're looking around like okay I did this but you know maybe it's that I felt comfortable like my bills were being paid and and then I I don't know Derek you want to chime in oh where are you <laughs> I'm right here okay you want to chime in at all about yeah I mean being, about being comfortable yeah. Real easy to do. And I know it's real easy to do. It's a trap. I know I've personally fallen in myself, you know, like uh, for me, you know, once I got to the point to where I was earning enough to comfortably pay all my bills, have money and spending money, taxes, all that stuff. Uh, it's, you know, it's not far. I think someone can get comfortable with that and uh, start you know, just skating along a little bit. So we all got to be wary of that. We all got to be conscientious of that human nature uh, possibility of getting complacent. Yeah. So, I mean, there's lots of ways to get stuck in your own head. It's not just that, you know, you're, you're on it or you don't want to make a mistake or anything. Lots of ways. So, um, first of all, reading recommendation. I read this book two months ago. It's completely changed my life. I'm going to swear. So if you have little kids around, plug their ears or something, Unfuck Yourself by Gary Bishop. It's the best book. Like definitely get the book. If you're stuck in your head, get the book, read it. And I'm telling you, I've recommended this book to at least five or 10 people on the team through Messenger. And every single one of them are like messaging me like, oh my God, this book, it's amazing. It's changing my life. I really, I'm, you know, it's helping me see why I'm stuck and blah, blah, blah. So definitely get that book. And since so many of us are in our own heads and needing that book, I felt like that's why we had to do this team call. And I've seen so many people on the team in the last like two or three weeks, like completely coming out of their shells and getting started finally. And they're actually having some success. So there's three ladies that I um, wanted to bring to the front of the call today just to tell a little bit of, about their story and how they got unstuck and what they're doing and you know what kind of success they're seeing now. So first, Robin, are you ready? 
got to unmute yourself. So Robin came into Direct Sellers on July 28th. Um, she is married. She has four kids, ages 22 to 5, so they're pretty spaced out. And she has two grandkids. Um, she's been an RN for over seven years, and then just last month cut back um, to one shift per week. So income was drastically reduced. And I think that's probably triggered her to get to work, but uh, she's now seeing some success and I wanted her to share a little bit of her story. So okay. Ahead, Robin. Um, yep. So I will say it was my choice to cut back uh, just because I have a really bad back and I, um, I almost felt like it would kind of push me to get started. And it, it's been a month of me kind of like making a million excuses. Um, and Trip, of course, um, who I signed with has been like, thank you, Trip, like the best and most patient guy ever because I must message him all the time. How do I get started? How do I get started? How do I get started? I'm always asking him, how do I get started? Like, help me. The thing is this, I um, had a serious case of excuse-itis, honestly. I had a million excuses and reasons why I um, wasn't getting started. Um, I had an attitude of lack. So by that, I mean, like, I was always saying, I don't have enough time, like I'm lacking time. Uh, I don't really have experience, you know, so I'm lacking experience. And, um, um, and also, really, honestly, I had to get real with myself. I was lacking the willingness to do what I needed to do and to get started. And if you're in here and you're not doing the work and you spent the money and you took the time to join the business and you didn't get started yet, it's because you're not willing to do it. What you have to do, you just have to, you, you have to honestly just do it. And, um, I probably was told that a hundred times before it finally clicked in. Like, honestly, Robin, I'm going like, I don't know. I, I am an RN. So I'm very, um, probably like you, Sherry. Like I like all my ducks in a row. I like to know I'm very regimented. And so I feel like if one thing is out of place or if I don't know 110% of something, like I can't get started. And what you said before about perfect timing, I actually wrote something about, um, I think I actually wrote it down from that book. Yeah. <laughs> Um, don't wait for perfect timing or perfect mood because it'll never happen. And I honestly, I've just been waiting this whole time, um, to get started. Uh, I don't know. And I was like, okay, again, I'm an RN. I'm not stupid. I can figure this out. And when you break it down, it's so simple as this. We don't have to buy a hundred acres, plant, what do you call them? Grape bushes. <laughs> plant grapes and I don't have to step on grapes and I don't have to have a winery. They do all of that for you. The only thing I have to do is talk to people. That's it. You just have to talk to people. And even if you screw up and they say, no, who cares? Honestly, like who cares? Move on. There's a million human beings in this world, billions of probably of human beings in this world and just move on. So, um, so fear, doubt, execute, excuse itis those were the things that were holding me back um and something i don't know if whoever's on this call if you're not in this group uh with ray higdon you honestly need to get in this group sherry's wearing the hat i got the shirt um but um negative self-talk he was saying for the people that are not doing what they need to do that are not building a business that are not building an empire you are spending six hours a day bitching about all the things you don't have, bitching about all the things that you want, all the reasons why you're saying you can't do this or can't do that, or I can't do this, I don't have the time. Um, and then you spend five minutes prospecting. So let's be real. So then you're comfortable where you're at, you're comfortable being miserable, you're comfortable complaining, but you're not comfortable enough to look at the bigger picture, see exactly what it is you're, what's, that's going on wrong, and you just have to take the steps to change that. Um, like Ray Higdon was saying about his bankruptcy, right? He said he, he had like, he was like a million dollars in debt or something. And somebody was saying to him, well, you just don't understand. Um, you just don't understand. I'm $30,000 in debt. And he was like, Oh, a little bitty baby debt. Baby bear yeah. debt. <laughs> um, you, I, and I'll be transparent with all of you. I have to file for bankruptcy. So that has been a huge thing weighing on my back. Um, for the longest time because I like legit, I don't feel like I'm moving the computer right now, but I have a, a huge big com 
stack of paper on the floor that's just been weighing on me. And so I've let that kind of hold me back. I'm like, well, okay, well, when I file the paperwork, I'll start my business. Well, when I do this, I'll start my business. So when I clean the house, when I do the laundry, when I get dinner cooked, I'll start my business. Here's the thing. If you have to make it a priority or your your everything else it's going you're still gonna have a messy house you're still gonna have paperwork to do you're still gonna have kids to feed you're still gonna have errands to run all that's not going to go away but you have to make your your business a priority if you want it as an income versus as a hobby um, and that's where it, it really kind of clicked for me um, and I just started talking to people and the other thing like Ray Higdon says it write everything down if you don't write it down you may as well not do it you know, kind of like with nursing, if you don't document it, it wasn't done. If you write things down and you literally have them on a piece of paper in front of you, who you talk to, when you talk to them, it's simple. Again, I was letting that hold me back. I was like, I need to find the perfect notebook to write people's names down in. This is getting stupid, right? No, this is not hard. All you have to do is talk to people and write it down that you're talking to them and the day that you're talking to them and, and you actually do the work. Um, and I started really working this, sad to say, I joined July 28th, and I really started working it the day before Thanksgiving Day. So it was at the 22nd, right? So last Wednesday, not even a week, and I didn't do anything on Thanksgiving, obviously. I was cooking all day. And then Friday, I did some work, and then Saturday. And then I, don't, I didn't Saturday because I worked Saturday night all night, 12 hours with my uh, patient. But I ended up in three days signing four customers. So... Huh? But that's amazing. Thank you. So, but that's what happens when you talk to people. And when you're, when you, you honestly, until you get out of your head, I was like, this person's, I was literally telling myself what this person was going to tell, how this person was going to tell me no. No, I don't know. And I literally was coming up with an answer, which is the dumbest thing ever. I wasn't even giving them a chance to tell me no. I was like, they're probably going to say no because of this, or they're probably going to say no because of that. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. You are making a story. Just go for the nose. Just, just get the nose. And when people tell me no, I'm like, okay, moving along. I don't care. It's not going to bother me anymore. Um, all right. So another thing too, and, and that this has been the biggest thing for me is my attitude, right? So I've just, again, having all this paperwork and all this shit just weighing me down. Sorry, I cursed. Um, um, I wrote this down. So we can change our attitudes by changing our physical actions. So the biggest way to change being complacent by your, your unwillingness or your fear um, or your doubt in yourself is to just do the work. You are not going to be good at anything until you start doing it. I assure you, I suck 110%. I'm cool with it. Like Amber said, and I, the one um, team, I think it was a team call last week, just, just get good at sucking. You know what I mean? Suck, suck, suck more until you start sucking less. And that's fine. You just got to do it. Um, another thing, so we're all afraid to talk to someone else, which is so absurd. We're all human beings. You don't know what this person is maybe needing or, you know, wanting in their life until you talk to them. They're human. We're, they're human. Just like we're human. Just be human. Um, and again, I was like, I just, oh my God, they're going to say no because of this. It's ridiculous. Another thing, action cures fear, whereas indecisions and postponement, for, postponement fertilize fear. So action cures fear. Um, totally afraid to mess up because again, I, I'm, I'm going to blame it on me being a nurse. I don't, you don't, we don't, I don't have that like personality where I'm like cool to like screw shit up. And so, you know, I don't want to look like an idiot, you know? And so you get, you just have this huge wall of fear in front of you. Like, I just can't message this person because they're going to tell me no, I'm going to look like an asshole. Who cares? Just do it. The more you do it, the better it gets. I got to tell you, I have it written down. I, my goal last week was to prospect 25 people, and I did that in like two days because we had Thanksgiving and then I worked. Um, my goal this week is to prospect 30, and I'm already at 21. So um, write it down. Um, right. The other thing, too, I was preaching to myself why I couldn't get ahead instead of why I could get ahead. So I was so focused on those things that um, I've had that were in my head. They're not even real. They're just my feelings, right? It's not out there. Of all these things inside of me, why I just can't get ahead, why I'm just going to continue to struggle. 
Um, you got to stop that if you're doing that, uh, like me, you just have to start focusing on why can you succeed? What can you do to make yourself succeed? What can you do to change your, you know, what's going on? Um, and then you'll start doing what you need to do to get there. Um, let's see, when you believe um, I can do it, the how to do it develops. Again, that's also true. So tell yourself, I mean, I can do it. I can message this person. You know how many times I opened up a Facebook message like a, and I was like, I can't do it. I can't message this person. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I start IVs on people. I put NG tubes in them. I'm taking care of people with chest tubes. And I can't message somebody on Facebook. This is stupid. Like, I'm not you know, bottling wine over here. I'm, I just need to talk to people and I'm a nurse. I think I can do that. We're all humans, so we can actually talk to people. Like we have that ability to talk. It's really simple. So if, we, if you just start messaging, um, the how to do it will eventually happen. Um, uh, um, just be ignorant on fire. Let me tell you, the first time I started uh, network marketing was in May of 2016 um, with the health and wellness um, company and I didn't have a damn clue, A, what network marketing was, or B, what the hell I was doing, and it was the funniest thing. I couldn't figure out why the people in that company were like, how is she signing so many people? And like, I mean, I'm just talking to them, like, because I loved the product at that time. I lost 40 pounds, like, so I was like, telling everybody how excited I was about it, and everybody was just getting my excitement and wanting to join with me. So if you're excited and people see that and they feed off of that, they're going to want to be a part of it. But if you're like, hey, I have this wine business, they're probably not going to want to. So be ignorant on fire. That's okay. Um, right, I talked about um, the other thing. Um, doing gets you doing what you need to do, but it is ironically also the quickest way to change your thoughts. So again, so just be proactive, just start doing, just start writing down, you know, your goals, write down how many people you need to talk to, make that chicken list, just message people. So what if they say no? Who cares? Just move along. Um, and I think I had one more thing that I wanted to share. Robin, I hear Ray, I hear Ray yelling at me. Like, who cares? <laughs> you know, that's it. He always says that, right? He's like, who cares? So what? Who cares? I know, right? I know. I, 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 and that's the thing. I try not to miss any of his lives ever, man. He's like the best. Yeah, um, but when you're, and what Ray actually really spoke to me about um, with his bankruptcy, because I'm like, okay, I don't have a little bitty baby debt. I am like, and again, being transparent, I have like 300,000 plus most of which was medical and I had health insurance. So how's that for a big old, you know what? But anyway, it is what it is. I can't change it, but I know how to get out of this and I'm working on that. But so that I'm gonna read this and so and hopefully it'll apply to out some other people out there too. Being trapped is just a position, not a fate. You get out of it by addressing and eliminating each part of that position through small deliberate actions, not by trying and failing to push it away with superhuman strength. So. Again, if you see in front of you um, the reasons why, or these fake reasons that are made up in your head why you're not working your business, write it down on paper and ask yourself, how ridiculous is it? What are you afraid of? Are you really afraid of somebody telling you no? People tell us no all day long about different things, you know? If you have kids, they tell you no all day long. So we shouldn't be afraid of this, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. I just learned to get out of my own way. I mean. Who am I? You know, I might come across somebody who has a bigger debt than me and really needs, yes, you can have a baby, um, and needs a way to get out of it. But um, I signing for customers in three days, I don't think it's uh, a coincidence. It's, I think it's directly related to me taking action. And if I can do it, anybody can do it, honestly. It's, we're not making wine people, we're talking to people. That's it. Absolutely. So. Yeah, I particular, particularly, that's a hard word for me. I don't know why. <laughs> like your point about like people will do anything before they actually get to work. Like they'll do laundry, they'll cook dinner, they'll clean the bathtub. Oops, I got to clean the fridge. Like <laughs> before they'll sit down and prospect or, oh my God, net, this Netflix show, I got to watch it first. You know, they'll do anything. And that's like, it's the pain versus pleasure 
concept. Like people will do anything to, to not be like, you know, prospecting is painful. It's painful because you're going to get no's and people are, you know, they're, they're worried that they're going to make a mistake or get no's or whatever. So that's painful. So then they turn to the pleasure. It turned, not that cleaning your fridge is pleasurable, pleasurable but don't, they'd rather do that than get no's on Facebook. <laughs> so it's crazy. It's true, but I'll tell you one thing that has made it a little bit more pleasurable for me, which when, of course, when something is easier or more fun to do, you want to do it more. And then it becomes like this momentum that you're building is writing it down, writing my goal down. I have it literally written down. Uh, what I want to do for the week, how many people I want to talk to. And then I'm like, okay, okay. I actually, my husband, yesterday I was like, I don't feel good. It was like eight o'clock and he's like, what's the matter? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't feel good. And he was like, well, when's the last time you ate? And I was like, I had to think about it. Cause I was so busy talking to people. I didn't even eat all day. I, so you have to get excited about it because if you think about what can happen, I'm thinking about what can happen with my life, with this business. Right. Certainly can do a lot for, more for me than nursing can. And nursing is killing my damn back. So, you know. Awesome. So right. Yeah. Robin, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sharing that. That was awesome and super inspiring. So hopefully that will kick somebody's pants out that's listening right now. Okay. Danya, where are you? You can unmute yourself there. All right. So Danya. She was in a, a previous network marketing company for about three years. Um, she said she did okay in it. She was, she's married with two kids. She's got six grandkids. And look at this woman. She looks like she's like 30. I mean, how can you have six grandkids? I don't even understand how that's possible. She's an animal lover and she works full time as a manager of a wholesale automotive business. And she has also in the last month or so taking some action and so i wanted her to come on and share her story all right yes okay are you ready for me yeah. go for <laughs> it okay she's right. nervous but she doesn't need to be <laughs> you're okay <laughs> on facebook lives and i was nervous and everyone and i was just like oh. out of her comfort zone you're growing yeah. hey everybody <laughs> So um, I want to start by telling you, um, I joined Direct Sellers July 21st of this year, um, and I was still with my previous business, so I had to keep quiet, and I sat back, and I, I watched um, all the training videos that I could in learning about Direct Sellers, which I learned a lot, because before that, I had never even heard of it, so when my friend Rachel approached me, it took me a good two months to agree, so... I was like, leave this place? No, okay. But then I did. So eventually I was forced out of Beachbody. Or I didn't say that. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was forced out. So, you know, I said, you know, sign her on. Stay with Drex. They said one or the other. I said, okay, bye. So I, you know, and then I still, I kept, I still sat back and watched the videos because in my head, I was afraid of what, you know, because for three years, I, I did health and fitness. I was afraid of what people would think. Okay, I'm not, you know, I'm still in health and fitness, but I'm not doing that anymore. And then I go from that to wine. That was all in my head thinking, oh, but is she crazy? You know, <laughs> so it's like one extreme to the next to me. So I, it made sense to me, but in my head, I was thinking, they're going to think I'm crazy. So and that's that that really kept me back a bit so i just thought well i'll just sit back and watch what's going on and then i got really comfortable doing that and then that that that's not good so and of course that negative overthinking i kept overthinking overthinking was just getting me nowhere so and i kept telling myself okay well i really need to get out of this and do something you know go out of my comfort zone and get going and of course that's really easier said than done you just you know you think you can do it okay I'm, tomorrow I'm gonna go message all these people I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that tomorrow comes you know you don't do it um, you know it, it, and that went on for a couple months and then let's see um, then thank God Sherry you post about rank makers and there was an opening so I got um, I joined at the end of August and then makers. 
um, I got in and that, that has done a ton for me. Um, it still took me a bit, um, but after watching Ray's videos and doing his uh, action steps and, and training every day, which I got very consistent in doing, um, I learned to get over myself and get out of my comfort zone. Um, so what I did, I guess it's been about a month ago when I decided this, this is what I'm going to do. I had pulled this out of my desk. This is my Facebook friends list that I printed a couple months ago. And then I stuck it at my desk. So I, I pulled this out and I started messaging everyone on the list. Um, and that was, like I said, about a month ago. And that's when Ray started his uh, tracker on Rank Makers. And I, I'm, you better believe it, I was going to get one of those badges. So, and I, and I, I did. I got a badge and I've gotten a badge every week. I, yeah, it has been about a month because it's been four, I think it's four. And then this Monday I got, I got two badges. So, hey. So, like I said, if you're not in Rainmakers, you need to get in there. Because most, most everybody's in there now, aren't they? I, I keep preaching all builders need to be in there. Yeah. So, but that, that definitely was a game changer for me that turned me around. Um, it gave me confidence, gave me posture, posture, you know, when I, I have a lot of posture and it has really kept me consistent. Um, and, and one other thing that I had a problem with before, even with my other company was follow-ups. Mm -hmm. I, I, I it came back in my mind where I was thinking, uh, what do they think? You know, I'm always thinking, what are they thinking about me? You know, what, what, why did I send that message? You know, why did they just say, oh, okay? you know, and I had to get over that too, you know? So once I started consistent with my follow-ups, um, you know, and, and just being consistent every day. And now I'm, I'm messaging 20 people a day and following up with everybody that I can. So, and that, that helped me get the more customers last weekend. So that awesome. if you, I don't know if you can, but I have a dog laying next to me snoring really loud. <laughs> I think I can hear him. <laughs> She's a little bit <laughs> A little dog, too. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so, but it, that's, that's the whole thing was, is I had to get over the fear of myself and get out of my head and uh, just get out of my comfort zone and stay there. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing is, you know, um, really got to me lately and, and um, I'm in the corporate world and I, and I'm, I'm, I need to quit because I've got a lot of stress. Um, it's just, you know, and I, I have a, a half hour commute on the interstate and, it, and I live in Illinois. It's horrible in, in the winter. You know, I need, I need to, I'd love to stay home. Um, but anyway. So your just, goals, your goals are clear. You want out of yeah. corporate world. Yes. And that's going to drive you. <laughs> yeah, I would love to stay home. I would love to spend more time with my grandkids. They live an hour and a half from me. So that would give me time to spend with them. Um, I have, I have an animal lovers. I have three dogs that, uh, require a lot of attention too. So, mm -hmm. but like I said, the whole thing that really got to me was finally you know, seeing the, the vision ahead, you know, awesome. Never lose. Um, I, never, I, think, I think Ray got in your head. <laughs> yeah. Ray got, in your head. right. You're right. I know that was you got in my head too, so I know how you feel. Sweet, so, awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're uh, welcome. I know that was scary for you, so I'm proud. <laughs> I'm very, very proud you just did that. So thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. All right, Mandy, where are you? I'm gonna go back to the gallery. View. Can you see me? It's All weird because right. I can't. I can't see myself, but I can see you. I can see you just fine. <laughs> All right. All right. Mandy. I don't know why I can't see myself, but I'll figure it out next time. So Mandy started in January. She's never done network marketing before ever. This is her first company. Um, she's been married for 24 years. Her kids are grown, but she has a beautiful uh, grandbaby girl. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So Mandy, like, what have you been doing lately? What made you get out of your head and start going after this you've been in since january so was that what 10 months ago or so 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, a lot of people. There's a lot of people that joined in January that haven't done anything yet. So, right, never give up. Never give up. <laughs> never give up. Okay, so um, I just have some things to share, um, like things that uh, were holding me back. Um, I was too worried about what people were gonna think of me, um, especially my friends and my family. Um, for some reason, that was really in my head. Um, I was afraid of failure. Uh, every day we're fighting in our heads, like <laughs> our brain, it's awful to us what, what happens um, in our brain every day. Um, so I've just been really fighting that um, lately because it's a bunch of bullshit. Sorry, potty mouth sometimes. <laughs> yeah, potty mouth did not come out, but, um, and yeah <laughs> another thing that was holding me back i um i honestly didn't know how to create uh, my image and how to properly market myself um to the audience i wanted so um those three things were the top three of the things that were holding me back um that i felt that i wanted to share um, i'm also total introverts um Honestly, this is what holds me back the most, um, and I have notes just so I I want to <laughs> help you guys, you know, if I can. And um, I am an introvert, and because I mostly keep to myself, and I absolutely hate the idea of talking to hundreds and thousands of people. Um, for me, I don't need the touchy, huggy feelings, you know, I'm not that kind of person, like, get the f out of here, just, I don't, I don't need that, so, um, it's really hard, um, for me, and this makes sense to all my introvert people, <laughs> you know, because I'm really, I am really introverted, but, um, Rank Makers is helping a lot with that, definitely, um, we got shirt, hat, bracelet, <laughs> we got all the bling going on. Um, but although I am an introvert, I'm also a very upfront person and I tell it how it is. So this was very hard for me to learn how to um, approach people about the business. Um, so how I snapped out of it was, um, I was done feeling like I couldn't do it anymore. Um, I was, sick and stuck and I didn't know what to do. Um, it was because I was lying to myself. Um, I told myself, I can do it. Um, failure's not an option. It just, you know, that's I'm waking people up here. <laughs> it's not an option for me. Failure is not an option. Um, I, just, I just kept telling myself, you can do it. Um, Get your mind right. Be the leader that people, or you know, that you know that you can be. I can do this. I will do this. Uh, mindset is everything. Um, I'm a freaking badass. Tell yourself I'm a freaking badass. <laughs> you know, I do it. That's that's just how I am, and that's what's helping me personally. Um, so the outcome that I'm getting from this is. I'm just seeing myself more confident. It's easier to uh, talk to people. Um, being a rank maker ugh, is a blessing. Ray just, and he teaches so much. Um, and I've got six customers, uh, three in two days, which was a big part of uh, Tripp's live video that he did um, on how he got 10 customers in a month, which if you guys haven't seen that, please do it. <laughs> I mean, obviously that helped me a ton. Um, as well. Uh, I'm not fearful anymore. Um, I'm just over it. Um, my family and I deserve it more. Everyone on here deserves more. Um, just believe in yourself. Because we, you know, we're all one team, same dream, right? Uh, I'm living my life without fear of the outcome. That is huge as well. Um, no fear of the outcome. You just... It, just bypass all that. Who freaking cares? Just next, 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 like Ray says. Um, so let's see. You guys, it just, we deserve everything. All of us. We all deserve what we want. It's, I'm just so glad I'm part of the DC family. It's just been a big, 
part of my life and it honestly it has changed my life um, for from where I was 10 months ago and um, every night before I go to bed I honestly I picture myself and before I wake up I'm walking on that damn stage I'm gonna I see myself on that damn stage and I'm gonna freaking kill it you know everybody just do that it's just awesome I just I just love it and I love direct sellers I love the people I love being a part of it mindset is a very powerful thing you guys please just mindset <laughs> if I could do to teach you anything is this mindset that has brought a lot of strength and courage to me and um, I'm just gonna leave you guys with two things tonight and I don't know if it's gonna be backwards because <laughs> whatever I'm, um, but um, failure is not an option and I can I will end of story do it you guys we got this Woo -woo. Hey, do you have those <laughs> hang hanging up somewhere so you can look at them every day actually I just printed these today but you know I'm gonna hang them up in my office so yeah, yeah. I would absolutely do that <laughs> yeah so okay, just guys. thank you for this opportunity Sherry it's oh, been a pleasure You're so welcome that was <laughs> amazing i love your energy you're very yeah like like it like you said like you gotta in network marketing you have to believe it before you see it exactly you have to believe it before you see it it's not the other way around people say i'll see it when i i'll believe it when i see it no not in network marketing you gotta believe it before you see it and Mine too. Yeah, so, uh, that's so awesome that you uh you're imagining yourself on stage because that's it's going to help you so much so i'm uh i'm seeing a trend uh with rank makers you guys like <laughs> i'm seeing a trend um all these people that have uh taken action are all in rank makers and believe me i get paid zero dollars <laughs> to get people into that group zero dollars but i believe in it a hundred thousand percent that um if you are in there and you're a builder your production is going to increase immediately um and if you get your team members in there is your production is going to increase your entire team production is going to increase and i think he pretty much i mean he's proving that on a daily basis i think last what this Thanksgiving week, um, rank makers, there's like 7,000 people in there and they prospected 22,000 some people. Um, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. So rank makers is where it's at. You guys, like I said, I, I literally get nothing, but, but I'm just, I'm so passionate about that group and, and where it can bring all of us that I, I mean, that's why I keep saying you guys got to join and it's going to keep going up in price. So stop procrastinating <laughs> and just get in there, get in there. So you see to listen to too. Yes. Right. And I think we had one question. Uh, Pauline said, how are, what are you doing for your follow up? Um, Pauline, I can actually answer that. Um, the next day after if i sent them a video if i sent them a video um i follow up the next day just to see if they watch the video if they say no i haven't watched it yet blah 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 i give them one more chance and i say how soon do you think you can actually watch the video if they tell me i'll watch it today then i set up another follow-up for the next day if they still haven't watched the video i tell them okay cool and i'm using posture here <laughs> okay cool i have a lot of people that did watch the video so i have to make them people a priority um so i might have time to follow up with you sometime next week but i'm not sure but i might that's what you say so hopefully that will trigger them to actually watch the video and get back with you if not maybe you set up a follow-up for the next week because you're not gonna waste your time on them. Um, four days later after that, Ray says to, um, like if you, have it, if you have somebody that you just dropped the ball on following up with, you haven't followed up with them in you know, four, four or more days, you just reach out to them and say, and apologize to them and say, hey, 
I am, I'm so sorry. I completely dropped the ball on following up with you. I had 350 joint, 300. This is my actual follow-up that I've been sending people like this week. I had 350 people join my team in the last weekend. So I've been so busy. Um, you know, I, so I apologize. How have you been? So don't make it salesy. Don't say, oh my God, did you watch the video yet? Like, <laughs> no, you actually ask them, how have you been? Like, how are you? Um, and then that sparks the conversation from there. And then hopefully they'll say, well, you know, I finally had time to reach that or watch that video. And you know, then you can go into the objection handle. But, but that's basically the follow-up process. So like one day, um, like one day after the video and then give them one more chance if they haven't watched it. And if they haven't watched it yet, forget it. Just wait till the next week. And then you can use that busy message. So that's basically the follow up. And, and you seriously have to follow up and tell people either you're dead or they're dead. Like that's exactly what you have to do because you never know when you're actually going to hit somebody at the time where they actually want something. You never know. Um, so many times, like I followed up with someone from a year ago and she joined me la a couple weeks ago because she was like, oh yeah, you know what? I actually am, I think I am ready to start this. So she, she got started, like and I had, you know, talked to her in a year, but you know, I completely dropped the ball on following up with her. I should have been following up way more often than that. But, but bottom line is she, I talked to her a year ago and she joined. So, so just don't give up on the follow-ups because what they say is true, you guys, fortune is in the follow-up, for real, so. All right, holy cow, we've gone 45 minutes already. <laughs> awesome. Do you guys have any like last uh, questions or anything before we go? And don't forget the Women of DC call is tonight. I know Kim Vincent is speaking. Uh, Jen O'Keefe, I don't know if you're on, um, but um, I think she's doing the call this week or this time. So, whoa, everybody disappeared. Questions? Anybody? Uh, anybody? I don't have a question, but uh, yeah. one of the books that Ray Higdon talked about that he said, if you haven't read it, it's like a must read, especially for anybody that has anything at all going on in their lives that may, you know, and they can use it as an excuse to start your business is this one. The obstacles the way. Yep. He said it in one of his lives. It's by Ryan Holiday. Um, it's amazing. Like, you got to get it because. It says that it's a timeless art of turning trials into triumphs. So basically, you just got to get it. If, if anything at all is holding you back, get this book. He posted one today, too. I can't remember what it was called, though. I did. And he posted one in the group today, Secrets of Success, oh, I think. Secrets he did? Yes, yeah. He posted it and said, get this book if you haven't read it yet. So mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't know. Get another book. <laughs> I, I'm just like, I, if Ray Higdon's recommending a book, I'm getting it. That's all. That's all I, got, I got it that day and I read it in like a day and it's, <laughs> I have all, I just marked the book all up and it's amazing. All right. So honestly, I think it, it boils down to, you know, if you're stuck in your own head, the one thing that's going to fix you is taking action and discipline, taking action every single day and discipline because without discipline you're not going to get anywhere if you're not disciplined that Netflix show is gonna look a lot better to you than prospecting so you just have to be disciplined with yourself and just do it even if you don't feel like it <laughs> you have to do it before I I haven't had time to prospect today I'll be honest I've been running my butt off today but before I jumped on this call I had 20 minutes I sent out 10 invites before I jumped on this call no joke so like, it doesn't take that long to send out the invites. Yeah, the messages and the, you know, the other stuff might take a little bit of time afterward, but you know, it does not take a lot of time. It's copy paste basically. And so, I mean, it just, it takes minutes, just get it done and it, just do it. So I think that's definitely going to uh, get you, like, that's what I think, like discipline will, is what's gonna move you forward, so. All right, I think that's it, unless anybody else has any questions. Cool, 
I don't think anybody does. So like Ray Higdon says, you guys are being selfish. This opportunity is amazing. And you are being selfish if you are not telling people about it, period. Boom. End of call. <laughs> See you guys next week. <laughs>